Greetings, Outlander. Trial by superstition, whatever that means. Oh, nice. Witchcraft has long lived in the superstitions of people here. It is only recently that some of these superstitions have become reality. According to tradition, one who is tried for witchcraft is allowed to choose the means by which they are tested for from among the requests of her peers. The villagers here no doubt have some strange beliefs of what witches can and cannot do. Speak with them and see what we can do to prove my innocence. Question 5, Fletcher's Hollow Villagers. A steady tiller point. Prevails. You know, I really don't think he's just going to stand and wait while I question the local populace. He kind of wants your answer now. You mind your whatever. business and I'll mind mine. I've never seen a real witch before. Isn't this exciting? Yes. An, an execution is exciting. Thanks. How can you prove someone is not a witch? I've heard a story a while back that there was a witch who lived in the swamp, and the way the villagers found her out was because the blood flies there wouldn't go near her. They bit everyone else but wouldn't bite her. They say it was because a witch's blood is so foul that not even a blood fly will touch even it. Even rotten crops we grow. Okay. Mainlander, eh? The witch's evil curse took my son. There'll be justice done today. How do you know that for certain? Back in the old days, we would weigh them down and throw them into the river. If this is what I mean, this bullshit. If they resurfaced, would know they had made an unholy pact and they'd get the noose. So you, and if they're innocent, they just, they're dead. Stupidest thing ever. That's the only way to absolve a witch in my eyes. Bet you the religious folks fall upon thought the about cover. that. They're the ones condemning the witches. And you know, you don't care whether they're witches or not. You just want to kill somebody. So you make the rules really stupid. You mind your business. And I'll mind mine. So it must be done to stop the curse in our village. I mean, I'm happy to help you with that, but how do you know she's the one who uh, is involved? I'm not sure. There is a rumor that a witch could never sick up. Could never sick up? I've never heard that as a verb before. Good God. Since their belly is constantly emptied by the dark spirits living within her. God, the bullshit you people are spouting. I'm not sure how you could prove that, though. May blight fall upon the coven. May blight fall upon all of you Didn't uneducated get many souls. Here. That woman brought evil into our town. She must be made to pay again. Where's your evidence? I've heard that a witch's flesh is impervious to flame. That's why we. So we hang them when they're found guilty. What you want me to burn her? If you want to convince me, put a torch to her. These people this are freaking horrible. Don't get many travellers here. Absolutely horrible. This trial is an awful thing, but justice must be done for Fletcher's Hollow. Well, my ma always told me that a witch could never cry, no matter how hurt or sad they got. Miss Whitecrest didn't cry one bit, even after being told she was put on trial. She must be a witch. This land is cursed. Oh my god, can I just kill all Name the uneducated land, right? fools in this crowd? I know it's not a crime to be uneducated, because it's not necessarily your fault, but it's just so infuriating. Drustvar stands firm. Yeah, they do. Against you. Well, those are certainly some interesting beliefs. I think it's safe to rule out the fire and the drowning, don't you think? Uh, yeah, that was my belief. Looks like that leaves us with three tests. The mosquitoes, sorry, blood flows, the flame, and crying. Well, let's skip the flame as well. Actually, no, you said no to flame, didn't you? What was the other one? I don't remember. It's fair winds and following seas. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry you seem to have been put in the middle of this. These really are good people, but times have been trying it like it's no excuse for being homicidal dicks. A pungent solution. The first test should be simple enough. While I may not do so often, I am certainly capable of crying or throwing up as the other one. Though to be honest, I've never had to cry on cue. Mm. Maybe you could help with that though. Nearby there is an onion field that belonged to one of the local farmers. It's abandoned, and most of it has dried up by now, but you might be able to find one onion ripe enough if in there to cause some tears. Oof, that just sounds painful. Onion tears are so, so painful. Collect a juicy onion from Hawthorne's Plot near Hangman's Point. Once bitten, twice shy. I'm also familiar with the blood flies bite. We had them all over the fields surrounding Waycrest Manor. Though I am loath to subject myself to them on purpose, if it will help convince these people, I am willing to deal with that nuisance. They really should just do one. More than one seems a bit excessive. Find the giant. Okay, I take back my words. Apparently, find the giant and collect as many blood flies as you can. They are common in these parts and shouldn't be hard to find. Find an empty jar and use it to catch six hovering blood flies. Oh my god! Can you imagine someone voluntarily subjecting themselves to six mosquitoes? Fuck that. Keep your sails. Harmful swallowed. 
The last test I am not looking forward to, but it is certainly better than being set on fire. They say that a witch can't get sick. We'll prove to them that I can. A venom comes from the Saralisks nearby that is used by our healers when a child swallows something they shouldn't. When ingested, it will make you immediately ill, emptying the contents of the stomach. Well, do you have contents of your stomach? Have you eaten of late? You'll need several of their venom glands to get enough venom for an appropriate dose. Removing them intact may prove difficult. Collect five intact venom glands from the shallow Saralisks near Hangman's Point. Glory to House Waycrest. Ooh, Flightmaster. Somewhere over here. Boy. Aaron Ridley? Ridgely. Mainlander, eh? I? Question mark? Okay, come here, you lot. One gland. Uh, could you kind of get it to me? I don't really. What's your idea of going out to the water? Yay! for a quest. I like it. Easy to kill. You are not what I seek. Alas. This is the onion patch, gotcha. I'm like, I'm coming here for a reason. Why am I going here? Well, not there, actually. We're going around. Ah, back here, really? Did that just say stringy loins? Good god. What's Adela doing down here? Adela, you should really save yourself. This is dangerous territory. You mind your business, and I'll mind Quill mine. Quill or be quilled? I don't know there. Sorry, we don't get many manlanders in this part. This plot was my husband Sam's farm. He used to tend to the onion fields every day before the curse befell Glenbrook, and took him with it. What curse are we talking of, lady? With my husband gone, this farm is all I have left, and these quill rats are making sure I don't even get that. I'd hate to bother a perfect stranger, but could you help quell his infestation? Even rotten crops regrow. Wish I'd gotten that quest before I killed a horde of these, but sure. Oh boy. I'm sorry, Darkmoor. I was just letting you be killed. My bad. Go get one by itself. It's a safer option. Although, we do need to get quite a few. And one more. Let's grab the onion. We didn't get a juicy onion. Well, that's a shame. Try that again. Nope. 
There we go. There's my juicy onion. Here you go. Don't get many travelers here. Safe. Thank you, Hunter. Maybe in reviving these fields, I can bring a bit of Sam's goodness back to this accursed land. May blight fall upon the cover. I wish you luck, lady. Oh boy, you were asleep earlier. No, you're the ones who were asleep. Well, at least his crows don't attack me arbitrarily. That's nice. Oh yeah, we still in the bug catching. My bad. Oh, that is where we're going. Really? Where? Oh. Okay. Well, I've got the jar. Well, of course the blood flies have to be back down there. Shoot. I think it started there. Well, at least these guys haven't respawned. That's something. Oh, speak of the devil. Damn it. It's hoping the Avro would not be there, but what can you do? I seem to be having difficulties over there, team. We're done. Well, shall we condemn you to these horrible trials, you poor lady? How can I help? I am sorry you seem to be put in the middle of this. this yeah, okay, you've already said that. So, a pun the solution. Have you any luck with the onion field? Great, you found one. I was worried that there wouldn't be much growing out in that farm. People of Drastvar could learn a thing or two from that hardy onion. No. Keep your sails true. Well done. With this many blood flies, at least one is bound to bite. A steady tiller prevails. Is the deed done? Good. This toxin should have the desired effect. Gah, I can't believe I'm going to go through with this. Glory to I know, right? Request. The burden of proof. I think we have enough... Sorry. I think we have everything we need to conduct three of the villagers' tests. Let us hope this is enough to convince them. Well, it's a majority. I'm sure Constable Framer is chomping at the bit to proceed with his trial, and I would prefer it if you were the one to administer the tests. I may not know you well, but I trust you farther than the Constable. Speak with him when you're ready to begin. And do me a favour, make this quick. Administer the test to prove Lucy Waycrest's innocence at Hangman's Point. Fair winds Are you and quite seas. finished? I'm becoming impatient! You've been surprisingly tolerant. What now? This stalling will not help you. We will find out the truth behind Miss Waycrest soon enough. We're ready to begin the trial. Finally, I've important work to Finally! The trial can commence! As is customary, the Lady Waycrest has chosen the tests she will undergo to prove her innocence of the accused crime of witchcraft. She has selected this mainlander to administer the tests. An unusual choice, but as a show of good faith, I will allow it. The first test will be the shedding of tears. Let it be known that Miss Waycrest shed not one tear during this entire process. Is the accused even capable of weeping? Show us that we may pass our judgment. Go ahead, Mainlander. Show them. Sorry, hey, old traveler. Looking at that. Cut onions. Oh boy, am I crying too? She's crying. Witches can't do that, can they? Calm down. Calm down. There may still be trickery afoot. We will continue with the trial. The second test will be the stinging of insects. It is well known that even the voracious blood fly will not taste of a witch's vile blood. Release the flies! 
Then watch as they scatter from her bewitched flesh. Don't Ahoy. worry about me. No, not you. I can handle a few bug bites. Okay. I don't want to get near them, though. You're on your own, dear. Ow! Oh! Oh! So that stings. stings! The bugs don't seem to be avoiding her. If anything, they're biting more than usual. Interesting, but hardly conclusive. Let us move on to the final test. The purging of the viscera. <laughs> purging of the viscera. It that is well horrible. known that a witch's power is fueled not by food, but by consuming the souls of her victims. Her insides are an empty husk. Are well, depends you if she's prepared eaten lately or not. to prove otherwise, Miss Waycrest? Indeed, I shall. The venom, Mainlander. Drustvar stands firm. Oh, I don't feel so. She got sick. Good. That's impossible. God, that's a Maybe lot. Maybe she's not a witch after all. I would have aimed but for him. What of our village? Quiet. I will be the one passing judgment here. Is. I remain unconvinced. This still does not explain the happenings at Fletcher's Hollow. So you just accuse somebody caused? What? After all, I just went through. Tests or no, you will only be absolved once we uncover the truth of what happened to our village. Oh, I'm sorry, Mainlander, but I may have to ask another favor. Yeah, we'll figure it as much. How can I help? That didn't turn out as expected. I could have told you that's how it would end. But you didn't ask. It appears that my absolution may truly be in your hands. Oh, Kidoki, gloves or drape? Critical strike, versatility, haste and mastery. Good God. I lose mastery. I lose versatility. And I lose a lot of crit strike. Hmm. Dear, 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 dear. Yeah, it's much muchness, to be honest. Take the drape. It at least immediately changes the color. The coven will pay for their atrocities. The curse of Fletcher's Hollow. It's obvious that the constable won't be swayed until we discover what happened at Fletcher's Hollow. I know very little myself, only that the village has been overrun by monstrous creatures. I must ask that you travel there in my stead and try to uncover what befell the village. I'm sure Marshal Reed will prevent the constable from harming me while you're away. Do this for me, and I will help you as I can. Speak of Evelyn Pear... Pear? Uh, at the Timbered Strand in Drustvar. The Timbered Strand. Glory to House okay. Waycrest. Oh, that is not the same colour, but okay. But it does represent that we are getting green next, which I kind of figured from the last chest plate I didn't get. But yes. Alrighty. Holy shit, that's a long way away. Why are you being tried up here in this no man's land? When it's all the way down there! Ooh, there's a cemetery over there. Barrow Knoll Cemetery. What the hell? It's so far away. What road am I following? Following this road. Let me turn. Uh, okay, here's the road. Sorry, I'm like, I cannot for the life of me see the road. Should I be doing this on my steed? Perhaps. Oh boy. Bone squall. I'm sure it's very difficult for me to kill whatever that is. Do I even want to know what's over here? Probably not. As we were. Are those seagulls? <gasps> I can get a seagull? I could have gotten like an actual scuttle? Oh well. I can get a scuttle 2.0. So this is the town. Oh! This place is called Timbered Strand? Then where is Fletcher's Hollow? Oh, it's the name of the area! I still don't understand why you're up here though. Even here would have made more sense. Whatever! 
Welcome to Fletcher's Hollow, Mainlander. Thank you. Sorry for the mess, but we've got a bit of a witch problem on our hands. So I hear. Unless you plan on helping out, I suggest you move along. Well, that's not very hospitable now, is it, lady? Why is it that every single person I see doing this quest line are all night elves? There are many other races in the Alliance, but I only ever see night elves. Mainlander, eh? Thanks, Bridget. Mm. Now, you are Evelyn. I Spin do need to out. speak with you. Ooh, she angry. You're looking to help solve this curse? Well, that's good to hear. We can surely use all the help we can get. I'm happy to help you get to the bottom of the this. First things first, though. We need to save some of our villagers. Kettle under hand. The only good witch is a dead witch. Sorry, yawning. Ever since these nightmarish creatures started pouring out of the mines, our village has gone to shambles. So... Has something happened in the mines that I should be looking at? I hope you have better luck finding the source of this mess than we did. Save who we can. These things seem intent on capturing our people, but we're not quite sure for what, for working in the mines. The ones in the town might be too tough to reach right now, but we might be able to save some of the woodsmen who work along the strand. Head to the lumber fields just east of here. East? You're already on the water's edge, okay. And see if there's anyone still alive out there. We can shelter them here until we can arrange safe passage out of here. Rally six frightened woodsmen. That's a lot of people work in the wood in the timbered strand. You hear that, boys? The mainlander's gonna help us take our town back. Let's hope you brought an army in that pack of yours. Oh, you're adorable. Clear cutting. We've managed to hold this hill, but the wicked creatures have moved in to surround us. We're not going to be able to move into the town if we don't get them off our flanks. This is where you come in, Hunter. See if you can clear out some of their numbers in the lumber fields. That way, when we move in, we only need to worry about one front. All right then, back to the fight. Okay. Okay, well this is very straightforward. Any other? Nope, cool, great. Hello. Off you go. You mind your business, and I'll mind mine. Yeah, well, I regret helping you then, if that's the case. Oh, I was not even aiming for you. My bad. I was not aiming for you. Did you just buzz off? Don't get many travelers here. Curse from Ravager. What's a Ravager? Mm -hmm. Mainlander, eh? You mind your business. And all my mind. God, these people are so inhospitable. After I saved them and everything. again. Don't get many travelers here. Okay, one more person. Probably not surrounded by a trillion dudes. You, I think, sir. You mind your business, and I'll mind mine. Done. That was really easy, Evelyn. I'm pretty sure you could have done it yourself, but it's fine. It's done. 
Wow, I can't believe there's three of us here. Seems a bit crowded. Make it quick. Good work, Hunter. Even though we don't even if we don't manage to take that town back. Speaking of which, where is the town? It's good to know we were able to save some of our people. Now we just have to get them out of here. Enough chit chat. Excellent. It was dying to feel a bit claustrophobic on this hill. The only good witch Hope is Hope they a dead can't witch. swim. We've got a small boat docked right across the way there. If they can if we can get these villagers safely on board, they should be able to make it to Full Haven by river. Defend the villagers as they board the boat in the timbered strand. Sorry, I jumped down here. You're a capable fighter, no doubt. Can I count on you to fend them off fend off any attackers while we get them to safety? Alright. Alright, boys. Let's secure this road so we can get these bystanders out of harm's way. Mainlander, take a position with them and hold off any attacks from the town. I don't even know where the town is. Looks like they're on to us. Oh, Protect the town's civilians! That way. Okay. I don't even see the civilians. <laughs> Attackers from the town! Hold your position! <laughs> Looks like they're sending in the big guns! Brace yourselves, boys! Bracing. Oh man, it's a strong one for sure. It's fine. Got this. Who the hell are you? Go. Welcome. That's the last of the villagers. With any luck, they'll make it to Fall Haven unscathed. What's your business here? Thank you, Hunter. Those villagers owe you their lives. Now that they're safe, we can focus on taking back the town. Um, this is waste. I get haste instead of mastery, which is good. Or I get an alderwood loop, which is a finger. I would lose agility. Hmm. Actually, yeah, because it would get rid of the lower one. But I get extra stamina, critical haste. Critical strike, sorry, in haste. That sees the biggest upgrade though. Wait, was agility was one of the things I needed, wasn't it? I can never remember. Yeah, it was my number one thing I needed. Do I sacrifice it for leveling or mm, I don't know. Or do I just get my haste back? I'm voting for haste. Enough chit chat. Three sisters, if you're looking to absolve Miss Waycrest of this mess, you'll need to head into the town. Recently, I've seen some oddly dressed women amongst the creatures who seem to be calling the shots. It's likely that they're key to this whole nightmare, but we can't get in to question them. The minions don't seem to slow you down, though. If you can get to them, you might be able to find some answers for both of us. Be careful, though. They likely aren't very friendly. Confront Sister Ashwell, Sister Early, and Sister Mooring in Fletcher's Hollow. Such interesting names, you ladies. The only a word of warning, Mainlander. Avoid the mine at all costs. I don't know what they're up to, but the magic coming out of that place seems to sap your very life away. Well, I already said you need to check out the mine. I've already lost two good men in there. Don't make yourself the third. Am I a good man? Thank you. I appreciate that. But yes, we really do need to uh, find the mines and sort that shit out. Not that I don't know where the mines even are. But... Hmm. No clue. 